All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Check it out. Recently, I was listening, I guess, or maybe I read it. I don't know. But the whole conversation about truck guns kind of like stuck to my head, right? And I think I was actually watching a video from someone. I wrote it down in my, you know, videos to do because I wanted to address that. I think I haven't talked about this in quite some time. A lot of new guys or a lot of you guys are new to the channel. Definitely appreciate that. And I wanted to give you kind of like some thoughts about this. Because to me, uh, a truck gun is not really something that I do. Really not something that I recommend neither uh, in a way. Now, I know some of you guys are big on it. Definitely put comments down below. I appreciate you guys' comment. And we can disagree. We can definitely disagree, but there is some things that to me, it just, I don't like doing it. And again, it may be a liking thing, but I don't like doing it because it's a simple fact that we're going to leave a firearm in a truck unattended. And to me, that's a big no, no. So before I get into that, let me give a shout out to my patrons. Why? Because they are fantastic. Some of you guys are, you know, always criticizing me and saying, why are you always talking about your patrons? Because they give me money. To make videos and wow that's amazing to me it, it blows my mind that people are willing to give me a dollar two dollars twenty dollars a month for me to produce these videos and you know what i'm blessed to have my patrons if you're a patron of the channel jar sick channel right here we definitely appreciate that now guys check it out make sure that you share the videos and subscribe to the channel we got a lot of content coming up and by the way if you guys got any comments or anything like that put it in the comment section below if you got any questions i usually you know take a, a print shot and later on I talk about it, right? This is a channel where I talk about self-defense. I talk about God. I talk about firearms. I talk about anything that is interesting to me. And some of you guys like this kind of videos. I definitely appreciate that as well. As well. Wow. <laughs> I lost my voice there for a second. So, again, let's hit the intro and let's start talking about this. All right, let's do it. Let me bring my face back over here. Wow, my voice kind of went away. So, again, I appreciate you guys' support. Check it out. Here's the reason kind of why I don't do a truck gun. And essentially, years ago, I was in North Carolina, Richlands. And I remember my neighbor knocking on my door. And he told me, hey, man, you have, have you seen anyone around my house? Have you seen anyone around my truck or my car? Uh, you know, any kids? I know there's a lot of kids running around and things like that. Someone jacked my gun out of the car. And I want to say it was a pretty decent gun. I think it was an HNK. It was an expensive firearm. Obviously, he was in the Marines. I was in the Marine back in those days. And again, you know, I had no idea, right? I, I just didn't know. And I told him, hey, look, dude, I, I, I have no idea. But to me, it's kind of like, well, you know, even in the Marine Corps, they teach you not to do that stuff, not to leave guns unattended, right? But again, you know, and I don't remember if I was... In active duty, or I just got out, anything like that. But I, you know, obviously, I was still in North Carolina. It took me a couple years after I left the service for me to come down here to Florida. I love Florida. I love the state. I do miss North Carolina, and it was an awesome state as well. But again, you know, I, I told him, hey, yeah, I don't know anything. And, you know, the guy was like, all right. He called the police. He did a report, all that good stuff. But to me, it's kind of like, yeah, they teach you that in the Marine Corps. Don't, don't leave your weapons unattended now here's the thing there may be a chance at one point if you conceal carry that you're going to have to leave your gun in the car and simple fact is that you go to a places where you can you know bring a gun right gun free sons places that are completely secure because it's a gun free son again we could talk about gun free sons i've been talking about it for years are horrific places places that bad guys use to hurt people right but again you may go into a courthouse you may go into a post office you may go into a place that if you're not going to break the law obviously we don't want to do that because we want to make sure that we are good law abiding citizens but if you go into that place you're going to leave your gun in the car and a lot of times people you know own holster put it in a place you got to be really discreet about those things but i know some of you guys have like a little safe right so again having a safe in your car may be a good idea and in fact i heard for some of you guys that you may have a chain that the chain is attached to the safe and the safe is or the safe is attached 
to the chain and the chain is like attached to the car some kind of way. That may be a great idea and it may work. But the majority of people don't have anything like that. What they just have is that, you know, they open the glove compartment and they put it there and that's about it. And I'm going to tell you, you know, in a, in a one, two, three kind of thing, you walk in, you may not have a choice and that's it. But now I'm thinking about this as I live, you know, in, in a pretty safe neighborhood. I mean, our area right here is pretty safe. I mean, there's nothing, I mean, there's crime, but it, it's not a really a bad town right but there's still a lot of cars that get broken in overnight so leaving a firearm in a car while you are home sleeping or while you are work for so many hours it just does not feel you know good to me really not it doesn't feel good to me now if you and again you know some of you guys may take this kind of videos and kind of like you know don't understand exactly what i'm saying or what if this what if that I work in a place where I could see my car, my vehicle, my motorcycle, like all the time. Like I have eyes on my vehicle 99.9% .9 of the time, right? So you could touch it. I mean, it's there. If you work in a place like that where you could see your vehicle through the office and there's your car, I mean, it's something else, right? You could put a gun. You could leave your gun in the car if obviously you can't bring it inside for whatever reason. And then you have visibility of that. But I'm talking about the guy that works at Walmart. You park your car in Walmart parking lot and you're working all nine stocking boxes. May not be a good idea. You may come out. Somebody broke into the car and your gun is gone. And now what are we doing? We are arming criminals. I don't like the fact that many criminals, and I don't know the stats. If you know, put it down in the comment section below. But a lot of criminals get guns out of vehicles. So we are arming criminals. I just don't like that. You know, I, I, I really dislike that now again we could play the what if game all you want if you have a gun that you put in the car for another you know a, a, a second level or, or whatever you know another step of security and you bring it down every day from your car and you put it in your safe that is fine to me but again you know i i don't do that um you know it is what it is so i think i kind of talk about that a lot here's the next thing that i'm going to say a lot of people make this comment and to me, this is mind-blowing, right? They say things like, well, I'm going to buy a cheap gun. So if something happened and somebody steals that gun, it's safe, right? I don't I don't have anything to worry about it. You know, it's, it's a crappy gun. So I'm thinking to myself, all right, so if you find yourself in a confrontation and you got to go and get a gun, you got a crappy gun. How does that even make sense? If you find yourself in a fight or if you find yourself in a situation where you need a gun, you're going to go to your truck to get the crappy gun, right? It makes absolutely no sense. That's what you shouldn't do. You should have a firearm that is dependable, reliable, that is going to work fine, and it has a good reputation, respectable caliber. So the fact that you put a crappy gun in your truck, you're already expecting somebody to steal it, and, you know, it's crappy, so it's not going to even be good for your self-defense plan. To me, that's just mind-blowing. Really mind blowing. So here's the thing. I want to give you a couple tips uh, for your basic, uh, I guess, truck gun, if you want to put it that way. If you decide to put a gun in the car, make sure you have a way, if possible, to secure that gun. Like I say, a safe attached to a chain or something like that may be good. That doesn't mean necessarily that somebody will not steal it, but it may delay the situation, right? If the criminal is going through hard trouble, remember, when he's breaking into the car, he's not expecting potentially to have a gun in there tied up to a safe, to a, to, to a chain or something like that. So he may not have the tools. So now he's trying to break into that safe. Again, you are delayed in the time. Hopefully somebody sees that. Hopefully the alarm goes off. And again, you have the possibility to call the police and things like that. Somebody calls a suspicious activities or something. So to me, if you're going to do it, you know what? I would recommend you to get a safe or something like that if the gun is going to be there for quite some time. If you get out of the truck to go and get something real quick, uh, it, to me, it's just not, not something that you really need to do. Now, the other thing that I would kind of recommend you is that every night, I don't leave it in the truck. I, I just don't like it. Take it out. Put in your safe. Maybe build yourself a little kid, you know, a little safe, something that you could just grab so you don't have to mess with the guns that much. You put it in the truck or in the car. You take it out. You put it inside your safe or something like that. That may be a good idea. Now, I 
really wanted to talk about this because I feel like this may be a good idea as well. When it comes to truck gun, uh, and again, you know, I have bring I have bring guns in my truck in the past, right? Like I actually brought a gun, but I always looked at it as a step above. So whatever gun you have in your truck should be something that helps your concealed carry, right? And again, you know, the best gun that you could have is when you conceal carry. I understand some guys can conceal carry, but I'm talking to the guys that conceal carry right now, potentially. It should be something that is going to help you to whatever you have or it works in some kind of way. So again, does it make sense that if I carry a Glock 26 in 9 mil, does it make sense that I have my Glock 26 on me and then I have a crappy gun I don't want to say high high point because people are going to get into argument. But, you know, high points are good guns too. But like a cheap, really cheap gun, right? I'm carrying a, a $450, $500 pistol. But now I got a $125 pistol that it doesn't translate to my carry pistol at all. Not a goal in my opinion, right? People say, well, if they steal it, I don't care. That is now the mentality to have. Truly now the mentality to have. So, again, if I have a Glock 26... And I want to have a, a, I'm carrying that Glock 26 and I want to have a truck gun. Maybe it will make sense for me to have a Glock 17 in that truck because once I got the same firearm that you could share skills, right? Your training skills, same gun, the same way, the same way to, to shoot it, same trigger pull, same way to put it apart, same skills, same sights, all that. So you could easily translate those skills from carrying, everyday carry to that next firearm and again maybe the glock 26 that i'm having on me it doesn't have a weapon slide well the one that i have in the truck the glock 17 which is a full side pistol ready to 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 fight pretty much maybe it has a weapon slide maybe it's in a holster maybe i got an extra couple magazines right so again you know glock 26 maybe i have a couple glock 17 magazines in my truck that is going to help me you know a lot of guys do this they don't carry an extra magazine but they have two or three magazines in the truck that is going to potentially give you more rounds. You see, that kind of makes sense to me. Like you have a gun that you carry and then you have in the truck something that is going to allow you to make your system better. Not something that is crappy, that it doesn't work. That truly makes sense to me. i tell you something. Some people carry a Glock. Maybe in the truck they have uh, some kind of uh, a rifle, you know, like the, what are they called? PC? I forgot. The, the carbine 9 mil rifles that have Glock 19 or Glock 17, Glock style uh, magazines, right? So now you carry a Glock 17, but in the truck you have a carbine that takes the same magazine style. And again, you know, it gives you that ability to have a fighting rifle if you want to call it something like that, right? Maybe may not be a uh, uh, 2 2 3 5 5 6 9 mil, but maybe... It has an update. Maybe it has, you know, a flash. Or maybe it has accessories that is going to help your self-defense. If you find yourself in that kind of situation, in a horrific situation. So the point here is that as you look at a truck gun, you shouldn't use look at it as a, a, a place where I put a gun that is somebody steal. I don't care. Horrible idea because, again, what you're doing is that you are leaving a gun unattended. Leaving a gun that could be stole and you arming a criminal. And then we have gun haters talking crap about law-abiding citizens. And it kind of makes sense that they're saying those things. And again, it's not helping your self-defense plan at all. i give you another tip, you know, or another point, talking point, if you want to put it that way. A lot of people out there, the wife, maybe, you know, typically it's the wife, they don't carry a gun. Well, maybe I got a Glock 26 on me, but maybe I have another gun in the truck because it is proven that in cases, or I've I seen this here in the in the community, in some cases, the men have been fighting or, or got out of the vehicle to fight. Well, guess what? You walked out of the vehicle for whatever reason. I remember seeing a video that it was just like that. So now the guy is fighting, and guess what? Wife is inside the car potentially children could be inside the car and she doesn't have a gun, right? So if she doesn't like to carry a gun for whatever reason, she doesn't want to carry a gun, well, guess what? There is a gun in the truck that she could potentially use. So again, you know, the truck gun to me, philosophy is not something that I really do. 
like I say, really, uh, I mean, there have been cases where I, I do have a gun in, in the truck or in the car, but I just don't leave a gun there. I don't like the feeling that it's unattended, and I don't like the philosophy that it has to be cheap. Any firearm that you buy, for whatever reason, you know, even preppers that say, well, I'm going to stash this gun over here. Well, it can be a cheap gun. It needs to be a gun that is reliable, dependable, and it works well. Let's just say, last thing I'm going to say, now there is a difference between cheap guns and like budget. There are some guns out there that are budget and they are fantastic guns. But a lot of the statements that we hear here in the community is people saying things like, well, I just want to buy a cheap gun just to throw it in the truck. Not a good idea at all. Are you going to depend your life on that cheap gun? To me, it really does not make sense. And like I say, I'm pretty big on not arming criminals. And the amount of crime that I have seen, typically young kids breaking into cars and all that, there is a high possibility that you leave a gun unattended. And guess what? It's going to be gone by the morning. Anyways, what do you guys think, guys? Put comments down below. Appreciate you guys watching. And as always, God is in control.